Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My friends call me Eddie. I hope you're having an awesome day. Today I will be updating my BTS A5 binder for their solo activities as well as their individual portfolios. I have a ton of PCs that I've been collecting over the past few months as well as those that just arrived literally a couple of days ago. So I'm excited to be putting them away. Also, I have a lot of ideas that I wanted to share with you. So I hope you stay till the end to check those out. So let's just get going. So let's start out with Jin, the astronaut right here. As you can see, these are the album PCs. There's the version one and version two, missing the star Jin. And at the back, you can see that they have his signature. I'm going to be taking this out and going to put them somewhere else. So, all right, and here are the PCs that I have collected so far. Let me get them all out. And I also have the stickers. I'm going to put them aside. And these are the PCs that I've collected so far. And this includes Lucky Dross. The black one is from Power Station. The green one is from MTU. And the purple one is from Soundwave. That's how you kind of tell them um, apart. This particular one right here is, is from the Japan Fan Club. And they have a hollow. This one right here looks like it is a, I guess, sparkle hollow. So this Japan Fan Club. This is from USA Weavers pre-order benefit. This is another one from the Japan Fan Club because it also has a hollow on it and it's a heart hollow. And this one right here came with the Japan Fan Club and it's a clear, transparent, just a card. Okay, I'm going to be putting these guys away. Oops, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Oh, and this one right here, is this correct? Now, this one right here is from UMS, I think. One of them is from UMS. Now I can't tell the difference. I think, yeah, that's from UMS. Let's put this guys away here. Oui. And I did find my star gen. So my album PCs are complete. And I did not keep these in order of their, uh, I guess you could call it, uh, like all lucky draws are in the same um, series, like all in Power Station, all MTUs. I actually did them by, you know, the, the color or the concepts, actually. This particular one is from uh, Weaver's uh, pre-order benefit, the global one. And ta-da! That's it. Okay, moving on. Let's go. This right here is the postcard from the Target. What I want to do. Oh, I want to do this, I think. Mm. And this one right here, I think, came with the um, Weaver's Shop as well. I'm going to do it this way. And this one here. So I really did not have to move this one. Oh, okay. I guess not. Yep. Okay. These ones are the ones that came with the album PCs. Let's look at the cute stickers. And I want to collect all of them. And I do need two to each is what I wanted to do. So that when I turn... Ah, when I turn the page, I can actually see them from both sides. I hope I did this correctly. Ta-da! Oh, that's kind of crooked. There we go. And so, if you can see, once this is filled out, this is going to look really good. 
perfect. I'm only missing number three gin. Anybody has number three gin there? I have something to trade. That'd be awesome. Okay, next one is indigo. And let's see here. For indigo, I do have a bunch of stuff. Let me just get him out first. Okay. And this one right here is the exclusive photo card from Weavers USA. And I did put the little sticker that came with the package so that I won't forget <laughs> what the cards are from. I do not have all of the um, album, random album PCs. So I'm missing actually the eye. So if anybody has an eye, I have a ton of neck and I have an extra hand. Okay. This particular one is from Global USA. And these are the ones that came with the album as well. And this is the fabric cards. And I'm keeping one of the fabric cards. Okay, next one is these guys. This is the Japan Fan Club. Pre-order benefit as well as this one. It's a sticker. They look great there. And then, okay, this is from UMS. And actually, I'm going to keep in here. And from UMS, it also came with this guy. And I'm going to put it right here. Hey, I'm actually using a clear, it's a removable tape. It's an adhesive tape, and um, I just did not like to keep using my, I guess you can call it scotch tape. Since this is um, removable, and it's also something you use for scrapbooking, so, you know, I think it's pretty safe. Okay, next is, what did I do? Oh, yeah, okay. Next one are the postcards, and this is the postcards that you get from the album, and this is the one that all of the albums have, okay? And on the other side of this is actually I put the albums that came from the Target um, exclusive. And you can also find this, I believe, in FNAC Indigo from Canada. So all of the postcards are the same. Instead of just putting it in a one page, I actually decided that I wanted to do something different. So what I did is I call it floating the postcard or floating the image and it's covered already in leave and I cut a frame around it and the frame that I use is from the book so that it stays consistent and as you can see by doing that I am able to you can call it float the image right there and it just adds a different detail to it as you can see and you can choose any image that you want. I Like I said, you, I could have just done a plain old one pocket page, but I wanted to try something different. And so I wanted to float this image and it's secured inside the sleeve. So I don't have to worry about it falling apart on me. That looks kind of good, I think. And the next one is these cards. So I'm going to put this, I think, all the way down, actually. Yes. Oh. And I'll show you ex what I'm doing. Okay, once you figure out it's on straight, just go like this. There we go. Okay. So in between this two, I actually decided to put some type of a divider, and that divider is this one right here. And let me show you. 
I am using a transparency and this was taken, I believe, by Namjoon and he posted this in Instagram, if I remember correctly. But this is the picture of his album and it looks really good and it's, I just, you know, I just fell in love with it and I knew I needed to put this in my binder collection. So let me show you actually what happened when I put this in. So I was pretty excited about it. <laughs> Here, when you put this, and I don't know if it'll show specifically, but as you can tell, this frame, this whiteness from his album actually framed Namjoon right there. And all of the writing is just down right up there. And I thought this was like, oh my God, I can't believe that it turned out the way that it did. It looked really great, at least for me anyway. But again, this is, you know, using layers to um, show off things from other pages. It's what I really liked. And so this is really, really cool. You could tell that he, he just looks like he was framed there, meant to be. So, yeah. And then when you turn this around, you can always say um, Indigo RM right there. And it also shows you the lettering right there. So, so again, something different that you might want to consider when you're putting away your photo cards and or decorating or, you know, making your binder yours. Moving on to the photo folio, we'll start off with Jungkook. And I did find the last PC I'm looking for. Yay, so this is complete. And now let's look at RM. I look fearless leader Nam June. And no, I have not yet found the outside white piece. So if anybody has it, I'm still looking. Right, so this should be done for now. And yes, Crown Jimin. Oh. Finally found it. And that completes his set right there. What? All right. Now, I have not yet fleshed out what exactly I wanted to do with their additional or their extra personal touch inclusion. So we'll just keep it here for now until I figure what to do. I did receive the BTS photo folio and here are my pools. Namjoon, Jimin, JK. So, and also I did pull Hobie and I traded Hobie for Jin. I know, sacrilege when I'm trying to collect OT7. But the thing is, I had also a go claim and in that go claim, guess what? Yes, I claimed two Hobies. I know, that's how bad my ghosts are. So I, you know, anyway, <laughs> let's just move on. And Hobie loves me, I guess, a lot. Right, let's see. Oops, uh-oh, uh-oh. Right there. You're probably wondering what I'm doing. But there's a method that is madness, actually. And then, let me show you. Okay. I decided to put these guys in here. This is the inclusion that you had to um, poke out your detach from a one page and it was kind of hard to detach it. And this is the, the icon at the very end of that entire inclusion. And so I just cut it out because it kind of needed something here. And as you can tell, okay, this is where I'm at, not bad. And then we also got part of the inclusion, our two group photos actual raw photos and this is one of them. So what I did is I put it at the back of the postage, as you can tell. I'm gonna stick it here. And then the other photo card or the other photo actually, I decided to stick it, you can see right there, okay? At the back of the group photo. And as you can tell, I am hiding this photo, but I was gonna be hiding it anyway behind the postage inclusion. So I decided to just, you know, use it. And if you could tell, the color combination actually works. 
because there's some blues here and although there's some black here there's also some dumb darker colors so i put to use the back of the photo postcards or poster whatever you call it mini poster it's actually a po big postcard see how the photo actually works really well and this becomes like a front page and then you turn it and these are them in their uniforms and it actually matches what's going to be here which is uniform and so that's why I separated this part of it away from the uniform photos. Ta-da! Yeah, I thought that turned out to be pretty good. Okay, and then I also received the Jin photo folio. And let's see here. The, this is the non-random PC that is in all of the photo folios. And you want to see my pulls for um, the photo folios? Yes, you got it. Triple dupe. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Hybe, okay. Or Weaver Shop. Please do a better job of shuffling this. It's getting to be too, too old to be getting like triple dupes and stuff like that. So if anybody is willing to trade a pirate gin and a fisherman gin, please. I need one each. <laughs> anyway. Here is then the postcard that came with Jen, and here is the postage stamps that came with it. And I'm just going to put this here. Whoa. Let's go here. Okay. And I did put it in a sleeve. All righty. Yeah. Next is our beautiful Taeyong. What can I say? Um, last one of the photo folios to put away until the next one comes. And this is the Nan Random PC. And my pools are. Yay! At least it's not bad as getting a triple dupe, I guess. But a dupe, nevertheless. But I've already, um, I secured a trade. Thank you, Mini Sunshine 7, for trading with me already. Ta -da. Yay. And finally, we have this. So stunning. And his postage. Okay, so I know um, I said that Jimin's portfolio is like so artistically like awesome. And it's, I mean, amazeballs. Let me tell you, I still stand to that date. Artistically, concept-wise, I still love Jimin's photo folio. But man, when you talk about stunning, I mean, seriously, if you saw that photo folio, all I had to say was like, oh my God, it is so, well, if you like Pride and Prejudice, what was that, like uh, the Regency era? Or the Georgian um, era, like well, like late 1700s, early 1800s or something like that. I mean, when you're looking, flipping through that, I, I just could imagine. Wow, hello, Mr. Darcy. Yeah. I mean, so, so, so stunning. So uh, literally, yes, beautiful days. Beautiful, stunning, stunning, stunning. He looked amazing. Stunning. I don't even know what to say. So, yeah, so that is the Regency concept. Probably off on the time period, but let's just go with it. And I'm making up as I go along. So anyway, I have another thing. As you can see, I have something in here. So uh, he loves Regency and he loves the past and all of that good stuff. I also love Korean drama. So I actually found this. This is from his time in Huarang where he uh, met up with actually two of his good friends now, Park Soo Joon, as well as Park Yung Sik from Zaya. And I found this and I couldn't help it. I'm so sorry, but here it is. It is his uh, postcard for that, as well as this. And this is from the Huarang period, which is, I think, uh, sometime in the 10th century. And... I'm just going to keep them here. Let's just say that our 
amazing Kim Taeyong is into time traveling to the past. And so, you know, leave it at that. And it's not wonderful. So anyway, here is my solo activities. It is a solo activity if you really think about it. Yeah. And it satisfied my love for Korean dramas. All right. But don't go away yet because we're not done yet. Okay. So flipping to the front, as you can tell, we are already at like the max of this. And I, you know, just realized this as I was like prepping for this video. And so I am going to have to already split this binder into two. So let me just do that. So luckily I actually stacked up on this A5 binders. It was $7.99. Actually it was $3.99 when I first bought it. And I'm going to use this now. This is what it looks like. It is from Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby if you're interested. List of supplies and links are in the description below. It comes with an assortment of pages already, but I don't use those pages. I do use the pages from um, Prism Platinum. Let me just open this. And I am going to move the solo albums and leave the photo folio in their own binder. The reason I wanted you to stay till the end is because I do have some pretty interesting stuff to put away still. I believe this is from UMS and it is a pre-order. I hope so. Anyway, I needed to put this in here and I had to figure out how to put it in here. I could put in a one page and it will flip, but this is all they're going to see. So I wanted to do something a little bit more different. And so what I did was I actually created another transparency for it. And I know you can't see it. So let me just show you what it looks like. Can you see that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape it. to the transparency. Okay. When I chose this, I was looking for something as a background and I only thing I could find, I really wanted the background for the filming of this, but I could not really find any specific type of a um, background. So I ended up having to go with this and it turned out to be actually pretty good. As you can see, I lined up the line all the way through here, although they're not from the same actual photo or set or angle or anything, but it just kind of helped, I think, to incorporate or to actually make it more part of the scene by doing that, although it's not. And so let me take this out. Let me put it back in here. Here's the most fun part about this. If you flip, <laughs> you can see Jack in the Box and you can see J-Hope's figure right there. And you can't see the tape, but it's hidden by the dark areas. So I thought this was pretty amazing. Instead of just putting it on a regular cover, uh, I wanted to show something more different. But that's not even the half of it. Okay, so this is actually the Jack in the Box box. As you know, you can just turn it this way. Let's see. Actually, let me move that. I think his head is so much farther bigger. <laughs> anyway, this box right here, okay, came with a set of PCs, a nine set PC, and it is these guys right here, right there. Can you see? Yeah. And the thing is, is it's nine and I guess you can just put it in a four pocket page like so and be done with it because this is a 70 by 100. So it really is a mini tour PC size. But the problem with this is, let me show you, let me take everything out. This should go on a nine pocket page. Okay. Let me put it away. Ooh. 
So as you can tell, this is the reason why you have to use a nine pocket page. Okay. But this nine pocket page is actually a nine package page for 70 to 100, a mini tour PC size, right? This you can find in a true A4 binder, like the European size. And this is a, actually for the US, it is a scrapbook size nine by 12. And when you're looking at the European or international one, it is this size, which is an A4 binder and they will both fit, All right? They fit the 70 by 100. The thing is, is not all of us have an A4 binder or a scrapbook binder that's 9 by 12. We usually have a US standard 8.5 by 11 binders and the mini tour PCs fit in an 8 pocket page which looks like this. This is not going to have 9 pockets. And you can just put your cards in here, and, you know, wherever you want to and not worry about exactly what's at the back. But if you want to have the same effect as a nine pocket page on an eight pocket, eight and a half by 11 for a standard US binder, then you're gonna have to be a little bit creative. And so I actually decided to show you what it would look like if you do that. And it's this. So first, let me take out all of the cards. I'll speed this up or skip to it, edit it out, and then we'll show you what it would look like once I finish putting them together. Okay, so this is what it would look like if you created your very own nine pocket page out of an eight pocket page which is what I did. I cut this because I wanted to show a different version of it. You don't have to cut the uh, four pocket page and just leave, put some fillers in here, black, you can do whatever you want to. And then I cut half of the eight pocket page and just taped it over there. And so when you flip this, so this is what the orientation is of your binder of your eight pocket, but if you flip it, this way, as you can see, you get the effect of that nine pocket page. Ta-da! Isn't that cool? Okay, so you can do that if you want to, if you really want to keep that nine pocket um, look that the cards or the pieces were meant to do. But we are talking about an A5 binder. Um, so what does this is got to do with it? So let me just show you. So what I found is this scrapbook page from scrapbook.com and it is what we call an extended page. It is an extended page because as you can tell, it is a six page layout instead of a four. So now you see why I showed you the nine pocket pages earlier for an eight pocket. As you can see, all you need to do is cut half of this and attach it to here and create the same idea, the same layout. Okay, so let's, do that now. How does that look? And of course, when you flip, ta da! And as you can see, I actually used the Jock in the Box stickers, as you can see here, to hold up this page together. And if you want to know, fold it this way. I love it. Uh, so yeah, you can do this. And the more important thing about this is remember that Jack in the Box is a pop-up and it's supposed to be a, you know, Jack in the Box. So when you open this, just open it this way. Jack in the Box. Woohoo! And there you go. Now this is a teal. And of course, these are all black. It has the word J in it. And if you turn it, it'll say J Hope. But if you want to show a different color you can but if you do that you cannot tape this here so let me show you you just cannot tape it and look you can have a different color right and it is upside down i mean you can't help that but after all this is j-hope's hobie's jack-in-a-box which is pretty upside down to begin with so it doesn't really matter if it bothers you then you know don't do that but you can't do that if you tape uh, J-Hope here and I'm choosing to tape this together the reason being is because I want to have that pop-up 
effect. Ta -da. If you have a lot of uh, stickers, and you know you can create this with no problem at all. Wow, this is one way of utilizing the stuff that you have. Ta -da. And here you go. Let's put it on our binder. Because this is only a two ring binder or there's only two holes in it I did you know hole punch this to make it for a three ring binder now you can see what this album it looks like you do this you flip it voila and here we go so that is all I have for today and I hope you enjoyed this video and like the ideas that I shared with you and hope you can incorporate that into your binder collection as well. And if you like this type of content, please like, comment and subscribe so I know that you want me to keep making videos uh, this kind of content. Until then, I'll see you later. Bye.